And this right here is something that my son Joe would do. Okay? Guarantee you. He goes to Delta. But he's already so got... So does my son. Yeah. He goes to Delta as well. hmm So we have kind of smart kids that are kind of well, scientifically... Let's just say they have analytical minds. Here's the thing. <laughs> and I don't know why my son did this because he's... I think he's. he told me last week that he's like at a 3.8... Great wow, point average. that's He's, amazing. Yeah, he does really good. Yeah. But he took a test, and he just didn't feel like taking a test that day. And he's super smart. That's what they do. So he wrote on every answer on the test, he wrote, IDK. I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. What? Yeah, I don't know. On every answer. And, of course, the teacher called and called. said, hey, you know, this is not Joe. What's, What's going, going on, on with him? And he's... See, and my son, on the other hand, he's the, he's the, oh, I forgot to turn it in, kid. Mm, yeah. But very dry sense of humor and very, like, mm-hmm. to the point. There's no fluff with him right. when he tells a story or anything. He's just super dry, you know, but a great sense of humor. Check out this test, all right? Now, this is not from either one of our kids, but it's something that we, uh, it's going to probably pop up on your Facebook a little bit later on today. But it basically is a uh, kind of a screenshot of a test that a kid took. Answer all these questions as accurately as possible. Okay. Okay. All right. That was the. He got an F on it, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but he got an A plus for creativity from the teacher. Well, let's hear it. What are the questions? Okay. Here's the first question. In which battle did Napoleon die? His answer? Well, his last one. <laughs> well. Okay. That's true. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? His answer? Well, at the bottom of the page. <laughs> <laughs> River Ravi flows in which state? And his answer? Liquid state. <laughs> What's the main reason for exams? And he put failure. <laughs> What's the main reason for divorce? His answer was marriage. <laughs> I love this kid. <laughs> what can you never eat for breakfast? Can you guess what his answer is? Lunch or dinner? <laughs> this kid needs to run for politics. This guy is awesome. <laughs> yeah. What looks like half an apple? His answer was the other half. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you throw a red stone into the blue sea, what will it become? He put simply a wet stone. <laughs> How can a man go eight days without sleeping? His answer was easy. Sleep at night. (laughs) (laughs) Very literal. (laughs) Yeah. How can you lift an elephant with one hand? And his answer was, well, you can never lift an elephant that has one hand. If you had three apples and four oranges in one hand and three oranges and four apples in the other hand, what would you have? His answer in very large print, very large hands. <laughs> I love this kid. If it took eight men 10 hours to build a brick wall, how long would it take four men to build it? And he put no time at all. The wall was already built. <laughs> <laughs> and the last question here, uh-huh. how can you drop a raw egg on the concrete floor without cracking it? And his answer was, any way you want, because a concrete floor is very hard to crack. <laughs> Again, he got an F on the test, but an A-plus for creativity. Uh, yes. Wow. Good Lord. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids, or at school today, all right? Because you will flunk. Yeah. That was funny, <laughs> but though. But that kid is brilliant. Uh, he was. Brilliant. Very, very literal. <laughs> and honestly, there is no wrong answer for that. I mean, he got he aced he it. He actually... He aced it. I guess apparently this wasn't the uh, answers that the teacher was looking for. That's, so yeah. A big old F at the top of it and an A-plus for creativity. <laughs> you got to love it.